welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday. It'll focus. It's uh, Monday, October 11th, uh, Columbus Day. So, uh, 9 in the morning, I got an order came in. Uh, it's a pretty nice one. He's ordered a few in here, but it's a thousand parts, uh, 70 different lots. So, we'll uh, go ahead and get this one picked. Um, other than that, I still got to build those from yesterday. I was kind of busy doing stuff around the house. But anyway. So yeah, we'll get this picked, and then uh, we will get it packed. I got one order that uh, was supposed to ship out yesterday, but it's fine. It's the it's a holiday weekend. It's not going to go anywhere anyway. It's just going to sit there in the post office. So I'll uh, probably throw it in there today along with this order. Um, other than that, we'll go ahead and get started. So we're going to get B1. So we'll come over here. Grab these, B1, and then we gotta count out these, so, um, yeah, so I gotta count out, was it 52, so we'll grab 52 of those, and then we'll move on, so, um, see, like this one I got in two different lots, because, uh, we wanna get rid of the ones in B10 first, because it's harder to get out of these little individual things, they're, they're pretty good when they, when I first started, you know, brick link, but now it's kind of like, eh. <laughs> you know, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So now, now I just try to put stuff like this, like mini fig parts or something like that in these, because it's really hard to get stuff out of these. Um, especially when you got to count like 50 out of there, you got to sit there and dig them out. It kind of gets to be a pain in the butt, but I mean, it's a space saver. I mean, I ain't gonna lie about that. See, I got a bunch Then they, uh, stopped selling these. I don't know. Uh, I think I got these on Amazon. They stopped selling them, which they're not too bad. Um, I believe, yeah, a lot of them are curved, so they're easy to get out. You know, they don't get stuck. But um, then I bought these at Walmart for like five bucks a piece. Then I kind of got away from those, using those. So um, these ones aren't as good because I don't think they're curved at the bottom. Yeah, only on one side. So, yeah. So, yeah. I mean... They're all right. These ones are a little bit bigger, but mm. yeah, like I said, they're square in the bottom. So it's, when you're trying to dig something out of there, it's a pain in the butt. So, all right. So yeah, let me get this order picked and, uh, and we'll see what else we got going on this week. I don't know if I'm going to part something out today, probably later on today, maybe with something in there. So, all right, let's get going. All right. Got that order picked. Took me a little bit longer than I thought it would because, you know, when you have, you know, it's a lot faster when you have a lot of lots, but you only have one or two items. But, you know, some of these were like, this was like 60, you know, 40, 40s, you know, 20s. And that takes a lot longer to, uh, to pick, you know, that order. So, it wasn't too bad. Got that done. Uh, so, now I'm just going to pack it up. So... Normally, uh, what I do is I pack it up by color, usually if I can. But if it's some like this, there's only one thing, I'll put those items together. But I try to make it easier for the person to count it, I guess, when they go to inventory it on their side. So, let's get this thing packed up, and then we're going to get it shipped off. So, that's a thousand, lot, uh, a thousand items, 70 lots. So, alright, we'll get that packed up here in a sec. Alright. Got these, uh... Frozen sets, I'm going to go ahead and do those next. Got five of those, so. Um, got these on clearance as well, so. Figure that'll be a nice, easy uh, part out. So, we'll get those parted out. Um, shouldn't take very long, because it's only 116 pieces. So, Elsa's, Elsa's Wagon of Adventure, I guess. Okay, so that's from uh, Frozen 2 sets, so. Um. We'll go ahead and do that one. It shouldn't take very long to part out and get uploaded. It's only 116 items. So, um, other than that, I'm thinking about getting rid of all my manuals. Um, the only reason why is because I sold a few the other day, and it was I think it ended up costing more for shipping than, than uh, actually uh, what they're worth. So, um, didn't really make much. I think I only made like three bucks out of a twelve dollar order. So after shipping and everything. Um, but hey, is what it is, I guess. So yeah, I was 
just saying it might be just better to get rid of them um just stick them all in their cycle bin um i don't know unless i just box them all up and maybe ship them to somebody that wants them but um i don't know i just don't think they're even worth it either that or just get rid of the big manuals i don't know but <laughs> i mean i do sell some throughout uh throughout the year but um they don't really sell very often see like these these things are heavy unless you send them like media mail but you know usually when somebody buys a manual they usually don't just buy manuals they buy parts too so if it's just manuals you can sell it uh send it media mail but um so i don't know but i'm thinking about just getting rid of them all just <laughs> probably putting them in the recycle bin I think that'd be the best place for them maybe keep the really small stuff like those uh i don't know i think they might be in here these little things maybe just the ones you get from the uh minifigures the series two uh, i think i'm just wasting my uh, wasting space just keeping them so they don't make very much i mean you know yeah manual stuff for like 25 cents maybe at the most a dollar for the bigger ones but yeah not worth it so all right i'm gonna get these part out um then i'm thinking about going into brick link and then deleting all these manuals out of my inventory and uh brick owl so and then update brick owl so uh all right let's get started on these oh, I, I, was recording. I hit the button and didn't record size, speed, power, and problem-solving abilities. These behaviors keep our rails active and engaged. Sea World's killer rails have inspired generations to care about our natural world, and we're excited to share their story with you today. Killer whales are the ocean's top predator. They use to see the killer whales moving together in unison. These synchronized behaviors help strengthen their social bonds and allow them to problem-solve as a group. This is just one of the many reasons why they are known as the ocean's top predator. Their scientific name is Orsinus orco. Their common name is killer whale. Our five whales have their own personal names. We have Takara, Sukari, and Kamea, our three females. And joining us up right here are our two males, Tayukit and Tuwar. Kamea is the youngest of our five whales, at just seven years old. Her mother, Takara, is the oldest. At 30 years old, Takara is also the matriarch of our pod, which means she's the leader. These whales trust us. They take an active role in their own health and well-being. Through the use of positive reinforcement training techniques, we teach them husbandry or home care behaviors. Joining us at the slide out are Joel and Julie to help demonstrate some of these behaviors. Thanks, Josh. Hi everybody, I'm over on this side of the pool with 22-year-old Tuar. One of the first behaviors we teach the whales is called a fluke present or a tail present. Just like Tuar is demonstrating right now. In this position, we've got a great look at his entire body. But more importantly, we have access to the easy to see shallow veins right here on the white underside of his tail. 
All right, got that set uh, put away. I mean, uh, parted out, not put away. I'm about to put it away. So yeah, I'm gonna get this put away. That little small set, um, and we'll uh, get some of these Bricklink orders put away. Just got a few uh, mini figs. Bought my last two Dementors from Harry Potter. Um, oops. Oh, what happened there? My Googles. What happened to my Googles? Oh no. Okay, well, let me get those put away. I've got to re-log in, I guess. So, uh, I think that'll be it. And then, got to start thinking about something else. But I'm going to start working on this here in a sec. As soon as I get these orders picked. I got a couple of Brick Link and uh, one Brick Out order to pick this morning. And it's Saturday, October 23rd. Right there, so at 8 in the morning. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, I got these, uh, those orders picked, the two uh, Bricklink orders and the Brick Out order. And then I found this on the side over here. So I know somebody ordered these not too long ago, like a few days ago. So somebody will be uh, complaining about that. It was sitting right here, and this was pushed over a little bit, so I couldn't see it. And I was moving stuff around, I'm like, oh, no. So I'm hoping... This just didn't fall out of the other one, and uh, I never picked it up, but I hope the guy got all what he needed. So if not, um, I'll wait for him to uh, say, hey, I'm missing a piece, and then I will send it to him. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, it happens sometimes. So counted the right amount, but I don't think they all made it into the bag. So Okay. Other than that... Um, Gonna start working on this, like I said earlier. I'm gonna start working on this, putting those away here in a sec. I'm gonna get these labels put on first, and then I will work on that stuff. So, other than that, um, I think that'll be it for this vlog. So, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for hitting the sub button, all that good stuff. So, all right, till the next vlog. Vlog.